Everyone engrossed in their technology or reflection in the mirror of their compact cases, covering up imperfections and blemishes by painting faces. Circular motions, up and down, round and round, blotch, start again, art. They wrinkle their noses at food that was marinated with family secrets and love. Smells pungent, they say. But this smell brings sweet memories. Snoring souls drifting in and out of consciousness from doing all-nighters. Thousands of words in university libraries versus thousands of hires from that nightclub that free publication told you to go to. Hospitality workers just finished the night shift, all humble earnings being sent straight back home. Yawning, softly dozing. Geniuses that know exactly when it's their stop. Homeward bound. Always in a rush. Always in such a bloody rush. Stand clear of the closing doors. Please. Awkwardly trying not to look others in the eye. Oh shit, smile. Okay, not too much. You don't want him to think you're hitting on him. Break eye contact. Break eye contact now. Look at the space in between people's shoulders next time. Or your phone. There is no third option. The city boy opposite is listening to music so loud the vibrations on your seat are from the beat drop and not from the speed of the train. Completely disturbing the young woman trying to have a fight with him. He spreads his legs so wide, you think he was doing a PA. Sam, are you man-spreading? What? Please, if you could spare a little bit of your time, I'm really ashamed to do this. He's been saying that for five years. We will remain here for a short while. Sorry for the inconvenience. We sit in complete silence for what feels like ages. Our common goal of travelling now diminished. And so, we're stuck. No one dares say anything. It's been a long and torturous two minutes.